Good afternoon, everybody. It is Fantastic Friday, and we all know what that means. That means we have Michael Zuber from One Rental at a Time. Michael, how is it going, my man? It's good, man. Uh, you sure it's not Saturday? <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny. Actually, I can confirm my life. I know for a fact it's not Saturday. <laughs> in fact, I can tell you it's end of the year in the software. Oh, world. yes. That's what, I can, that's what I can tell you. Yeah, yeah, it's. I remember those days. Oh, I, I remember. So most of my time, Q4 was New Year's Eve. Yes. And then I went to a new software company and uh, we moved. The, the fiscal year actually ended on Halloween. Ah. Which still isn't great, no. But it means that Q1 doesn't end until January, and that's that right. was awesome. It's like, yes. oh, I, I could actually go out on New Year's Eve. That's awesome. Yep, yeah, we are so. fiscally year tied. <clears throat> Ooh, that yeah. is rough yeah. for a sales guy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so I know we haven't paid attention to you for like three months. We asked you to do a ton of work, but any qu- could you round this up by the end of the year? Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, yes. I will drive. Yeah, we've had we've yes. had reps drive around, and uh, it's oh yeah. Just- yeah. I was never so happy as to have a fiscal year end on Halloween. <laughs> That's because Q1 is not a problem. <laughs> no, exa- exactly. Q1, we have a good start to the year, right? Not yeah, that January, good. February death. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so true. So Mike, the thing that I want to talk about today in the episode one is um, evictions. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if you saw the latest statistic, but evictions are coming by the droves. They're up. <laughs> tremendously in some cases they're up 88 percent over where they were last year oh these oh god <laughs> are you serious are these yes. idiots still not yes. understanding that they're yeah. producing garbage oh my god yep yeah garbage in garbage out the reason and so mike tell everybody why the fact that evictions might be up in some areas by 88 <laughs> percent help people understand why that's not a problem okay folks let's let's take out a piece of paper <laughs> right now and realize that last year this time evictions were not allowed now they have been called unconstitutional right mm-hmm. but that was that was after this yes. right that was after this so a year ago the only evictions that were happening were essentially if you were a drug dealer and committing crime yes right well, you could still do those so the evictions last year let's say were five let's just say they were five. And let's say that this year, they're 10. <laughs> 10. If you're a moron on YouTube and you quote the percentage of 100%, you are technically correct, but an idiot. Yes. Because yes, 10 is a 100% increase of five. Yes. But it is meaningless. Yes. If you are quoting evictions today and you are not quoting 2019 numbers, yes, you should be barred from posting videos what? because you don't compare 2021 when evictions are allowed with a period when evictions were not allowed. <laughs> that is dumb, <laughs> stupid, yes. damn near ap- apoplectic. I don't yes. know what that word means, but well, it means it means you're going nuts. That's what oh, I mean. dude, I am. Yeah. I'm get, I'm starting to get yeah. warm in this sweater. Yeah, see, I, I tell you, you should have should have worn a t-shirt. Uh, You're doing the work. You should have worn a t-shirt. So, Mike, you just covered all the reasons why I have a problem with this. We've covered all the reasons why this is stupid. And people, here's well, hold, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, please, please go ahead. Uh, these idiots putting out these numbers are trying to are are not trying. They are scaring people yes. from not doing the work. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, evictions are going up. My tenants aren't going to pay. Oh my God, I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. And you're missing out on low debt, an asset that's protected with inflation, rent, NOI increases, all these amazing things because some moron is saying evictions went up 100%. When they are allowed and when they are not allowed is not a fair comparison. If they are allowed now, let's compare to 2019. And in my market, which I look at every day, evictions are down. And that is after two years of not being able to do them. Correct. So, folks, if you are listening to channels today that talk about evictions, you need to unsubscribe because they are making a penny every time you watch their nonsense and they are hurting you. Now, I'm not telling you to invest in real estate. I'm telling you to do the damn work. Yes. And then make your own choice. If you are watching people, the sky is falling. What happened last year? Oh, I don't know. Prices went up 20%. Rent went up 30 and rates were lower and now they're higher. And you listen to some idiot who was quoting percentages when 
they were technically correct, but they were so out of left field as to have injured you. You need to unsubscribe of those channels because they're not helping you. They're not. They are keeping you as a worker. They are keeping you as an employee. They are making sure that you're delaying the start to the next chapter in your life, which is being an investor. They're scaring you. When you get yeah. scared, you don't do anything. Yeah. Why is the stock market freaking out today? People are scared. Yeah. When people are scared and there's fear in the market, you do irrational things. And if you have some moron with a good voice and pretty charts telling you that evictions are up 100%, 5 to 10, he will never tell you 5 to 10. And oh, by the way, folks, if you compare it to 2019, 19 was 37. So instead, he should be saying evictions are down 66%. But of course, he won't do that because that's not sexy. That doesn't get clicks. That doesn't stop you from coming back going, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. Nope. This is, that, I mean, that really covers it. I mean, that was one of the problems with evictions. But now let's take it a step further because maybe some people are being honest about what we just talked about and how honest we are about it. But let's take it the next step. Okay. How does this affect affordable housing, Michael? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. There's there, it, in we, the article in the articles I've read, there are literally people saying the landlord went from fifteen hundred dollars on my property to twenty five hundred dollars on my property. I can no longer afford to stay. Welcome to being to the landlord taking it for a year and a half, mm -hmm. and then saying. The market's really good. You know what? I need to make up what I lost over the last year. Well, here, here's the deal. I don't know if you saw this, but Barbara Cochran, one of the sharks. I know Barbara. Yeah. yeah so Not she personally. is out. Yeah. So she came out yesterday. There's a YouTube video on it. It's in my queue to watch while I run today. Uh, she said that uh, landlords are going to be making up your word exactly. Yes. For the last 18 months. Sure. And her words were tenants. Get ready. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, get ready after having 20% already. I mean, what is going on? But, but Mike, yeah. rents are only up 0.2% for CPI. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm confused. Dude, CPI is 10%. I did the math. You and I talked about it, right? We both said there's no way that CPI is not double digits. And you then did the math and you're like, yep, double digits. 10%. Yep. It's The numbers are there. Now, you can't believe what the mainstream media and what a bunch of YouTube talkers that all they do is regurgitate the mainstream media, do the work yourself or make the choice, own people. your own decision. Yeah, yeah. own the decision. Find, find other people that are doing the same work that you should be doing. Yeah. Like Mike and I do this because we're actively investing every single every day, day in our market. Every day. Every day we're looking for the next deal. We <laughs> want to know just as much. We listen to the idiots as well as listening oh, to yeah. other people that may support our hypothesis because we need to understand all of the data that's out there to then make our own decisions. Yeah, I listen to other channels that have alternative views a lot because yes. I don't want to miss something. I don't want to stub my toe. But yes. if you're going to tell me that evictions are up 100% and I should stop when you are comparing them to 2020, yep. you've lost all credibility. You are just, you're damn near a criminal. It's yeah. that bad. It's just so bad. It really has gotten to the point where it is actually that bad. Like these guys should have a class action lawsuit against them because of the gains that people didn't realize because they were listening to the fear mongering. And the problem, Mike, is, is that what does 2022 look like? Higher rates. Higher rates. Probably higher like prices. <laughs> higher prices because of- Higher payments. Higher yeah. payments. Like these are all the things, like in some cases, in some markets, it's still a great time to get in. Yeah. In do almost the work. every market, it's still a great idea to always do a great deal. It is. And, but you have to find, you have to do the work to find those deals. Exactly. So the other thing that really troubled me with obviously the percentage game play and the fact that something was allowed last year. Now it's not allowed last year. Now it is allowed this year. Now that's such a crazy. horrible compare. I mean, can it you is. imagine it's like, it's, Hey, last year you can't eat rice. This year, you can eat rice. Guess what? Rice consumption is up 100%. What does any statistician, legitimate statistician do? He can have a apples to apples. They want a baseline. You have Equal. to have a baseline. Otherwise, it's irrelevant data. It's just, hey, yellow cars were selling a lot, and now there's blue wagon wheels. I don't, I mean, yeah. what the hell? Well, the funny thing is, is it's like, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine that sells cars, and she said that typically on their lot, they have about 200 to 225 new cars for sale. Okay. She said in the last 
six months, they have never had more than 18 Hmm. to sell. Now she says, obviously the dealership looks at the number of new car sales are now a 10th what they were. But they said they're not freaking out about that because they're making up for it on the used car side where now the margins yeah. on a new car might be a few hundred bucks. The margins on the used cars are three to $5,000. Welcome to inflation. Right. And not only are they three to $5,000, but they're saying, so now to get the same return, we only have to move 40 used cars. So we're moving the 18 news. We're moving 50 or 60 we're in a better financial yeah. spot now than we were moving all those units. Yeah, that it's um yeah, I I it really bothers me that yeah um it really bothers me that people get scared not to do the work. Yeah. Because again, I don't mind not buying real estate. That's fine. But I want you to do the work first. If you do the work first and you're investing in a market that's population is shrinking and you know, the, the big employer just left. Well, that's probably not a market to invest in, but do the work yourself. Listening to somebody who points at pretty graphs or talks in his mom's basement or something who owns no rentals, who had to move out of state because he couldn't afford it because he missed it. I mean, enough's enough already. Come on. Completely agree with you. So Mike, any more thoughts on evictions 2021? Well, I have a note for you evictions are going to go up. Evictions <laughs> could double and it will still be okay. They could we, triple from present from present yeah, numbers. We yeah. will st- only will. compare us to 2019 or I will not listen to the video. That's yeah, it. I agree with you 100%. And have you heard in your state how much of the federal funds have actually made it to landlords? I haven't checked yet, uh, but so far every, and I just had this conversation yesterday, every time we've requested it, we've gotten it. So they still have money to give. (laughs) They have actually only pushed out less than 20% of all the federal funding that they've received. Well, that explains why I'm getting every request I can. So, Mm -hmm. yep. And they're paying like three months in advance too. So they're actually trying to burn through the stash. So they're paying back, but they're also paying three months forward. forward. Yeah. Yep. That's happened in our state as well. Yeah, so it's not a bad time. No, and it's one of those things too where we look at it and we say, it's not being handled as well. And yeah, yeah, not what I would have done, but okay. But it, it is what it is. We want to get the people helped. And if you approve them, yeah, then we'll take and it. I, and I'll tell you this one last thing. There are a couple of people in the program, at least in my portfolio, uh, that I would, I would bet money will be July evictions. A thousand percent. Yep. Because they got used to it. They're like, yep. they, they're, and again, they're living high on the hog. There are people that have had, had somebody else pay their rent for now 14 months. Yep. And they have bought new cars. They've done this, they've done that. They have gotten used to not paying rent. And I guarantee you, because I think in my California, it ends in March, they will be July evictions. Yeah. I don't know. They're just like, oh my God. So, you know, who, who's not paying my rent? Who can I ask to pay my rent this time? Yeah. We've nope. seen it. We've seen no it. No more. Mike, nope. where can everybody find you, my friend? One rental at a time on YouTube, books, websites, Instagram, all good stuff. And as you always do, Saturday mornings, 8 a.m., your questions, my answers. You can't miss that time, guys. It's free. And there's like 100 people that watch that and they get yeah. their questions answered. It's pretty Like cool. if you have that burning question that you're like, man, I really wish they would cover this. Mike does his. I do mine at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. And now we had the very first live stream last That was fun. I watched a little bit of that. That was fun. Cool. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We had, uh, I don't know, 40 or 50 people watching. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, you should get two Lambos. That way you get over the 6,000 pound level. (laughs) Can you do that? Does that work? (laughs) I don't think that works. them together. Yeah, just Just put a hitch. Or front to back. Front to back. (laughs) So as I always say, we try and create great content for you. We appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button. And these will be, as you guys are watching, we'll make sure that we are doing more awesome videos for you. Watch for segment number two. I have another thing that Mike has not looked at yet. I cannot wait to get his reaction. Based on the first one's reaction, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, pucker up, buttercup. Here it comes. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it.